welcome back. Right, this week is super busy. We are hoping to get down the structure that, the timber structure that is in the snug, the soon to be snug. Um, I think Badger wants to put a roof on the snug while all the timber's up and maybe Velux windows, but we'll see. We'll see how we get on. But he's already down in the house. So let's go check out what he's up to. So Badger now is taking down this old beam. Sadly, we couldn't save it. It was just too eaten by bugs. So that's the first bit down. Look at that chunk of wood. Is it still really hard? Yeah. How far have the bugs got into it? Not all that far. There is a hole in the middle here actually. Problem is where it's been rotten on the outside they now can get in right to the centre. Yeah. Um, so now if I put a rafter up this side or two to strengthen it and then do the same that end I should be able to come in and put my ladder on the new roof and just let the bits drop into the Yeah great. The old. But um, yes, it's a, such a shame we can't save it, but... Yeah, it's rotten. There's a big hole right through the middle here. I don't know, you might be able to see on the bit that I've cut the other side of the hole. But um, right, I'm going to get a rafter on here. Okay, great. So this is the first hunk of chunk that's come down. As you can see, it's solid, but yeah, there's a big hole perfectly in the middle, actually. It's solid, would they? Actually, now it's close up, you can see. You can see obviously where they had the fire in here because this was the old kitchen, but where it's all black and it actually still smells of um, wood smoke. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, there was no saving it, unfortunately, even for aesthetics. Obviously we couldn't keep it to hold the roof up, but I wanted to keep it to look pretty, but that is well and truly gone, unfortunately. How's it looking? Yeah, in there. Uh, two bits down, I put the support in so it shouldn't move that way and it won't move that way. Oh yeah. There's some hefty bits dropping down, so they make a hell of a thud. Yeah, they do. So massive, how much weight's they? up there. And what's crazy is actually this whole structure wasn't really needed for the size of the roof, was it? No. <laughs> well, I just used what they had, I suppose. Yeah.
Well done. <laughs> How are your arms? Oh, they're tired. <laughs> <laughs> Either that, or I thought I could put that as the mule post at the top of the stairs. That was such a big job that I know you've kind of been putting off a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I have a little bit. Well, I was just, it was how I could support myself and be above it. I mean, you obviously can't cut it from underneath. Yeah. But yeah, there she is. I actually I feel it, quite sad about it though. You know, it took I... a lot longer to put up than it did to take down. Oh. Because it was so pretty, but hopefully we can recreate it at some point. Yeah does make this room feel so much bigger though. Mm. Obviously there's no roof on it at the moment, but it's not the world's biggest room, is it? No, I like it though, I like it snug. Snug for our snug. A snug room. Right, I better put some rafters up the other side. Fun. <laughs> So the plan today, as you can see, I've already started, um, but this wall that runs across the back here and this wall that runs across the back here and this wall, none of them are square to anything. Um, so the original side of the roof over here, I squared this wall up with the extension so that was easier to make everything fit nicely and squarely. But this side, the ridge up here, is at a different angle to the wall plate down here but not only that the wall is a different angle to this wall and the back gable wall so each rafter i'm having to uh, recalibrate the uh, angle and the seat and plumb cut so that's why every time i get up i have to measure it take a new measurement and i've cut a shorter one that's slightly lighter here because all the other ones are so heavy to lift up all the time that <laughs> my arms are going to drop off um, but let's keep going and get this awkward bit of roof done. Right, so we've had a few days of rain. It's been pretty miserable. I'll flip you around, you can see all the puddles that are now on our sheets. Um, and we're a little bit wet this morning. But the plan is, I'm going to cut these to the right overhang so that we can keep banging our heads as we walk under. Um, I've got one more rafter to put on the end and frame out for the skylights in here, here and here. Uh, and then I've got a few, just a couple more to put on the end here, just finishing bits, maybe one more rafter on here, or I might wait till I put the uh, lay boards on. And then on Monday, I'm going to get the big timbers for the 45s that do the hip and the lay boards this side, and then I can start with the roof that side. But today is more of a tidying up and finishing off little jobs that we need to do. Well, let's go.
hill of a van tool lock up moves it's in all my pictures and videos but look at this it looks like a real house well it is a real house this looks amazing weirdly the snug feels bigger now it's got the roof on which I don't really understand how that happened but <laughs> the playground the girls love it here but yeah it looks amazing and having that double height ceiling I think will really kind of lift the whole area up make it feel nice and big and we've got another roof to build there oh and that one obviously Right, so these overhang bits have been cut to length, which look amazing, make it look so much smarter. And then I'm going to take you under the scaffolding and show you in the snug, because hopefully you'll see what I mean when I say it feels a bit, feels much bigger with the roof on, which I know doesn't really make sense, but it's hard to see. But obviously we've taken down the old timbers here and we do want to recreate it at some point but structurally we don't need it so that's going to come when we find some really nice wood um to recreate it but at the moment we've got a roof well kind of so yeah it's just feeling like it is all coming together honestly badger has not stopped he hasn't taken a day off it's been pretty full on and fighting against the rain, even when promised sunshine. Um, yeah, baby. I found a little pumpkin because it's orange. Look. Oh, wow, that's cool. I found a little pumpkin. That looks really cool. I don't know what it is. It looks like a root of something. Is that a root? No? Yeah. Little pumpkin. Yeah, little pumpkin. <laughs> we, should, we should grow this in our garden. We should. We could, why don't you go plant it somewhere and we'll see if it grows. Yeah, come on. So yes, it really feels like it's coming together. Obviously now we've got all the rafters on in here and in the kitchen. It just really feels like it's all linking together, which is just the best feeling. I don't think you should plant it there, Trixie. Why? Because this is going to be the kitchen. We need to go plant it in the garden. Where's the garden? <laughs> Anywhere other than the kitchen. Here? Yeah, you can plant it there. No. So Badger is just doubling up these timbers ooh, here and here because we've got three Velex windows going in. One here, one here somewhere and one at the end there. So you're doing doubling it up, Badger? Yeah. That's it. Strengthening it. Yeah, strengthening the, and then they'll be bolted. They'll be bolted yeah. together, these two timbers. So that'll be because we're taking the strength out of this one yeah. and stretching it across these two. So these need to carry double what they were before. Well, not double, but it, it ensures it's got all the weight covered. Yeah, definitely. And we've got nice big windows going in up there. All right. I love how she's going to pull up and drop it. Ask her nicely and she will. Good thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Good jumping, birds. That was funny, isn't it? Yeah. She's so good at jumping. So every time you come home from school, a bit more of the house build. What do you reckon? Is it Good. starting to look like a house? Yes. <laughs> You're just excited about your bedroom, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Genuinely don't know what they're gonna do when this trench is filled in. <laughs> they absolutely love it. Jumping in it, hiding in it, wrestling in it. Mostly wrestling. <laughs> Oh, 
cold, isn't it? It's really cold today. It's like four degrees. I know. This is our coldest day so far. <laughs> neither, of us, neither of us have much mojo to keep going, do we? No. So, uh, yeah, I think we're both a bit tired. <laughs> um, um, but right. so far, we've got all the walls up and I've got all the common rafters up. So the next phase is we have to get 245s from the corner of the building up to the ridge. And then we do our jack rafters up to that. I'm not going to explain all that. Okay. <laughs> uh, I've done all the common rafters over that roof, but I need to put two lay boards on the old roof, which is now the, is part of the new roof. And then they do jack rafters up there so that the little ones that go all the way up to the ridge are finished off and connects the two roofs together. But today I'm going to cut the Velux window holes so that the roof is completely finished, apart from the jack rafters, which we'll do tomorrow, hopefully. Depending right. on mojo levels. <laughs> uh, and then the roof, this side, from snug to the end of the kitchen is finished, which means we'll be able to ply the outside and tie back the top to get it nice and dry. And then it'll be time to tackle the half the snug over the kitchen, which is not going to be easy because that is a bastard oblique hip roof, which I am not looking forward to, which means the pitches are different and the outer wall is at a different angle. So, Just to clarify, Badger isn't swearing, that's the actual name of That's it. the name of a, a hip roof where the pitches are different yeah. and oblique is where the wall is out so the room is not square yeah so, so it's a good challenge basically lots think. of maths going on at that end that's probably why i've done it last <laughs> yeah leave the worst till last well hopefully then the yeah, big well, main old house bit we've got to renew as well yeah that's just not thinking but that's that dry at the moment. moment so i'm not yeah. worried so let's get this roof finished with all the jacks and everything to get it all plied and felted and dry is my plan okay great <laughs> come on let's another coffee it. no <laughs> <laughs> bits of wood you can see that has horizontally horizontally <laughs> on the roof there i've got to put another set above and all that does is hold the timbers in place while i cut the velux window and then once they're all screwed up with the um oh, what are they called trimmers sorry it's been a long week once i've trimmed it out then i can take them out and that will just keep them centered where they are when i cut them and they don't just fall and go all over the place so that would also give me something to stand on while i'm up there so i can cut those out frame it up and then i can take the two on the outside off Next one, frame it up, do the outside off, Amazing. and then we'll just be left with three equal holes. Because that's where our VLAX is going. One, two, three. So stick her on time lapse and let's get <laughs> on with it. Right, so Badger has asked me to cut some bits of timber for the windows. What are they for? They're for the header and top of the, the header and bottom of the uh, Velux windows. The header and the bottom of the Velux windows. Basically, it just took me 20 minutes to set up the saw, so we'll see how it goes today. I need to square off this end, check me out, like I know what I'm talking about, um, and then measure it and cut the other end. See if it fits. I don't think it will. 
Right, first one cut. Let's go see if it fits. I'm not sure it will. I just said to Badger, that took me a very long time to sort out. But it's similar to when I ask him to get the girls dressed and he has no idea where anything is. And they come out in like party dresses <laughs> and salabettes. <laughs> <laughs> um so yes i think we both have our like strengths in different areas of the family home but you know we're both learning so here we go let's see if it fits our little diy um scaffolding Woo! all right here you go yeah hang on one i need it over there yeah. i'm in this bag on my hip always makes me out of balance. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I can't film. We do that. You don't walk any further. Why? Because you're, you're on the uh, don't walk any further. So. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Which one's this? 85? No. 85.3? 85. 85. Luke. Lovely. Does she fit? Perfect. Actually, for real? Actually, for real. Absolutely perfect. Look at that. You don't even need to bang it in. I've got a knife. <laughs> That's what the actress said to the bishop. <laughs> Great. You sure? Yeah. Success. On to the next yeah. one, which is... 85.3 which seems a little bit more precise so um yeah let's see if i can do it again <laughs> well obviously i did all the noggins the other day and i got back from the school run and i said badger fitted them all and i was like were they all amazing he's like mm. a few of them actually fell through so i had to redo them but anyway i'm getting better Amazing! Another one fits. Sorry, just putting it on the record. <laughs> but it means that we can actually see how the Velux is going to look. Which is very exciting. Indeed. Ready? Yep. Oh! <laughs> so square. <It's> stuck. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Another window. Another day. If I don't see a true week, I'll see, I don't see a fruit week. I see a fruit window. <laughs> right. You, my fair lady. Mm-hmm. Eighty-four. Yep. And, and I'm so pleased you're better at heights than me. 85. 84, 85. Okay. Me, I'm not. I'm learning as I go. <laughs> this is always Mike's job. <laughs> yeah. 84, 85. Okay.
we have Velux windows. We have Velux windows. Well, not, not well. yet. <laughs> Holes for them. They're, they're going to go in there somewhere. They look so good. So good. So good. <laughs> There we go, three holes for three windows. They look amazing. And what's exciting, exciting, I don't know, but the sun rises over here. So even in the winter, we'll get some that comes into the kitchen in the morning. All right. Actually, it's a bit clearer up from up here. You can see the gaps to the windows. Amazing. Right, so I'm going to drill my doubles, which are either side of my window, and I'm going to bolt them. So I'm going to do 600 centers, 12 mil bolts, uh, and tighten them all up. That'll crunch them together and make them super strong. Here we go. And there we go, the end of another extremely busy week. I think I say that every single week, but it feels like every week is just really busy. I'm on the tidy up mission. I've had enough now. <laughs> Which is fair enough because he has not stopped. And like I said earlier, literally every single day, all day, Badger has been working and building and cutting and measuring and picking up wood. Um, yeah, it's been non-stop. The children are non-stop with all their stuff at school, so that's exciting. Um, but yeah, we've got loads done. The timber's down, which was sad to see because obviously I loved it so much, but I think it was the right decision. Um, the snug roof rafters and are up. yeah, the framing out for the roof windows. So it's been a mega week. Anyway, we'll see you next week at the same time. Um, don't forget to tune in, but have a great week. Bye.